Hey guys, what's up and assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to the Smart Programmer and today we are going to learn another very important topic regarding uh, TK Inter module that how to add and click event to any button, how to trigger any event with a button and uh, today we're going to learn this important topic so watch this video till end and before we move on if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos and like my videos if you like them so let's jump into our PyCharm editor and uh, do an example that how we can uh, add or how we can uh, uh, add any click event or any other event with a button so let's get started here we are in our PyCharm editor and let's first import the module uh, okay here we are in our PyCharm editor and first import the TK enter module I'm writing from TK enter import static and now create a window that is an object and write here TK okay and now uh, we are defining the geometry or the size of the window by writing like window dot geometry and I'm giving here like uh, 300x300 and now I'm going to add a label then add a button and uh, then we will see how it really works so actually I want to add uh, uh, an entry box and then a label and then a button then I will uh, write something in that entry box and it will show uh, when I enter that button then it will show on the label so, so let's uh, move on to our main code for this first of all we are going to add an entry box and write here txt is equals to entry entry is a keyword if you don't know about this then check out my previous lecture on entry and uh, then write here window and just give the width of that entry box i'm giving here 20 and now just place that text box into that grid by using the grid function into that window by using the grid function and uh, give here like uh, row 0 and column 3 and now I'm just uh, adding a label here and uh, my label name is L1 and the label is the keyword and now I'm giving the uh, window and then I'm giving here the text which is equal to like smart programmer okay and now I am giving the font size here as I think 15 it's good and now I'm also placing this into by using the grid function into the window and just writing here row is equals to 0 I want to place it onto 0th row and 0th column 2 and O L U M N is also zero, and uh, now I just want to okay till here just run that uh, program to see whether it's working or not. Okay, okay you can see this. This is our label. This is our entry, and now we want to add a button and some word here, and uh, then we will trigger an event with it. Now I just want to add a button here, writing btn is equals to but, button is also a keyword and just giving here window and uh, I am writing the name of that button like enter, enter is the name of my button and I am giving the foreground color fg yellow. okay <clears throat> and uh, now I want to place that button also like a btn sorry btn dot back okay let's run and check whether it's working or not okay now by using the grid function we can we want to place it uh, on the row is equals to 4 and column equals to 2 okay and uh, let's run this program ok 
okay you can see this this is our button here and uh, this is this okay just want to change the background color to background I'm giving here the blue by using the BG property and it's like blue okay now it's looking nice and now I'm going to add a function command here by writing here a command and uh, for this we have to first create a, a command function by using the def keyword def uh, I'm giving here a click function and I'm writing a condition first of all I'm uh, taking here a variable and I'm uh, giving here a welcome text welcome to and now I am concatenating txt dot get actually what this will do this will okay I'm gonna show you what we enter in this entry box this get function actually will get the data from this entry box and uh, it will save it and then it and it will concatenate it with this result function just welcome to this and now I'm gonna add another condition I'm writing here that l1 dot configure text is equals to res I just want whatever I write here like I'm writing here uh, training center and uh, when I press that button now it's nothing happening because it didn't add any command to that button but if what I have written here it should show here by changing this welcome to the training center or welcome to the smart programmer because we have already given here the con welcome to and the text we write here and it will show here like uh, instead of smart programmer it will show here so okay now just write here the basic thing and you have to uh, remember that we have to write here a command and uh, this is click okay and now it will work hope so okay now just run this program and check whether it's working or not uh, okay our main focus is on that button whether it's click event is triggering or not I'm writing here like um, training center and uh, it will show us welcome to the training center okay yes it is working properly but you can see this our te uh, text box or entry field is minimized or its width is minimized because its uh, font size is increased so I want to place that label somewhere below this button so let's be with me Okay, as you can see this, this uh, label is placed on the 0th row. I want to place it on the 6th row and uh, now it will look a little bit right. So yes, now I am going to enter here. Uh, welcome to any, welcome to school. And yes, it is showing that welcome to school. And the main thing is that our function is working properly. It is uh, triggering with that button too. And the event is triggered here. And this is it for today. I hope you uh, enjoyed this lecture and you learned something. And you can do many other functions in the complex things by using the click events and other events with your buttons and uh, according to your own choice so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos and like my video if you like it so bye for now take care and allah hafiz